I'm very sorry to hear that, but can we please focus on my problem? It's extremely distressing to be separated from one's best friend. Ma'am. She not talking to me like. Uh, we we uh, we in a, we in a situation. We in a tough situation right now. <laughs> Man, I got all the flavor bitches say I'm delicious. I'm a hat. I mean, I could see if it was a real nigga. If you lost your hold of T.I., I'd be like, hey, that's T.I. But Usher. <laughs> This video is for black women and black women only. I mean, you can do it if you want to, but I'm, I'm really talking to black women right now, okay? Babies, I need y'all, if you haven't already, to use this filter. Bonus points if you can use this filter with some kind of shimmer on. Because do, do you see... Do you see what's happening right now? I keep seeing us eat this up. And I want to see more, okay? I, I need more. You have your assignment. You know what to do with it. I'm crazy. I'm gonna show you some crazy shit. <laughs> So unless you're new here, you know that my dad is gay and I am also queer. And I've had quite a few people commenting under my videos of him asking if it's genetic and if that's how I caught it. So I just wanted to clear this up once and for all. Yes, you can be gay because of genetics, but it's really most commonly caught through the form of an airborne virus. And the only thing that can stop you from catching it is an N95 mask and six feet of distance. So if you're worried about catching homosexuality, don't forget to wear a mask. Good talk. most recent season of too hot to handle you know what i'm talking about she didn't break any rules because that one guy was kind of sharing her and kayla well she's not focusing on her own drama because she's focusing on ours lesbian. in the comments someone said why have i never seen a lesbian or gay couple on the show and she said i don't control what they choose to focus on and then she liked a comment which confirms there are active lgbtq relationships going on on the show and everybody was like oh my god that's the fucking tea spill and she said all i can say to you is that i'm not straight okay queen netflix are you listening pick us the fuck up we're juicier than too hot to handle focus 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 fuck it all just focus Focus, 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 focus. If you're a masked lesbian and you want to stop dressing so fucking boring in the winter and maybe look like you have a clue without like putting in too much effort, here's what you can do. Get a cardigan. You're probably already wearing like some dickies and a beanie probably right now as you watch this. Just put a cardigan on top of it. These are easy to thrift and easy to just buy anywhere. Get a men's one though where it either goes straight down or the buttons start like mid chest. Another tip, just get some plain thick sweaters and wear those like this or tuck them in even to like your dickies and put a hat on and it looks cool, I'll show you. 
See this? Like, this is easy. And I'm not like reinventing the wheel here, but I just don't see a lot of girls dressing like this. Sweaters are easy to thrift too. This one I got for $5. Even the pants I got for $5. Hello? You can look more like an adult. It's a little more fancy than your t-shirt and hoodie. And it's that simple and you're still comfortable. Honestly, I thought it was gonna be a slow week, but now in response to Avery and Soph going to Europe together, this is on JoJo's mom's story. Why are you mad? Why are you mad? Because I got used. For what? <laughs> for views. Aww. And for clout. Aww. And I got tricked into being told that I was loved. And I got fucking played. You guys know that I typically only have positive things to say about JoJo, but this situation right here, I'm gonna call it how I see it. I'm not buying a single second of it. First of all, JoJo has not confirmed in any way, a comment, a like whatsoever that her and Avery are over. Second, JoJo's not addressed the fact that we all know that her and Kai are spending time together now. So I just find it oddly suspicious that the first time we hear about this breakup is on her mom's Instagram story. Like, who's been able to give her side of the story like this entire time? And so I just find it unbelievable that she's laughing around this hotel room with her mom like this this is her realization that avery like used her like this is not true maybe this is an unpopular opinion but i truly believe that jojo and all her power and glory swiped avery from so let avery take the blame for it then wooed her begged her into a relationship for its only last two months for jojo to break up with her for kai now i think she wants avery to be blamed again when like nobody was blaming anybody we're all believing that you guys broke up because you decided you were better as friends so what what is what is this on your mom's story it's okay it's okay it's not okay though it's not you know on roblox i was silent uh were you silent or were you silenced the latter. Here are my thoughts on things that we've normalized in queer culture that I actually think is very, very unhealthy. And for context, I'm a bisexual baddie who came out a couple years ago, no longer a baby gay, thought I was gonna spend the pan, I thought I was gonna spend a lot of time just learning queerness and then the pandemic hit and that did not happen. So I sat with my thoughts upstairs and here are my thoughts. For starters, coming out is so weird. It's like rooted in colonialism, capitalism, white supremacy. It's like, I have to be out. And then once you're out, you can't like, you can't unbe out. So like, if things change, if things are fluid, if you're like, oh, I'm not feeling this anymore. I'm not feeling this label anymore. It's like set in stone. It's so weird. Another thing, tops and bottoms. That discourse in the queer community is so weird it grinds my gears because i also put white gays next to it because white gays really hit this hard it's like white supremacy with like queer flavoring like a little seasoning of queerness like it's just very weird that it's like again you have to say your sexual position and then once you're that you can no longer like you need to be a top you need to be a bottom there's no in between there's no and it's like queer, the whole point of queer sex is to be outside of head sometimes i feel like some people like want to be straight but they just so happen to be queer and it's really weird it's like y'all want it it's just weird next types another thing where it's like you have to be this forever you have to like this person forever i might be the wrong person to be talking about this i might be super unqualified because i'm a bisexual and honestly i ain't got no type that bitch isn't the only thing that I like. If you're a bad bitch, I like you. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you're femme, if you're a stud, if you're in between, if you're neither, if you have nothing and everything. I like it all. So it's just weird to me that it's like, you need to be a type. You need, you need, you need. Another thing, you hauling. What is that about? Like you, that that's my last thing. Bonding over deeply traumatic things on a first date and then you hauling. What's that about? Why do people feel the need to be like, here's my biggest secret. I mean, not only am I bisexual, I'm a Scorpio. So like, I don't be telling people secrets. So, well, till never. Um, <laughs> but like bonding over like really traumatic things and then like moving in and we're hardwired in our culture. This is all rooted in capitalism. We're hardwired in our culture to believe that love is scarce, that it's rare. We can't find it. We'll never find it until we find that one, 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 one person. But I'm here to tell you that love is not scarce. You don't need to U-Haul and speed up things in order to make things work. It's not healthy and somebody needs to talk about it and it's gotta be Scorpio. It's gotta be Scorpio. So 